Hi everyone, it's Maria Nicola with the 10 Way Necklace and in today's video we're talking about my trip to Florence and what I found there. But before we do that, we just need to get some uh, housekeeping out of the way that might be called. So I have had to reassess some prices and I wanted to tell you first before actually just doing it. Um, I've had to put up the prices a bit because things have changed a little bit on my end. Uh, different um, labor costs have gone up. The Australian dollar has dropped dramatically and I buy in US dollars. And just different things, different things that I've had to take on because of um, expansion of the business. So it's not as big as you think, it's just small. And the $99 price point is staying as is. Whatever is 99 is staying that level. The $129 natural stone, uh, not the limited edition, just the natural stone section is uh, from 129 to 139. Of course, I'm speaking all in um, Australian dollars. The freshwater pearls, which is the cream and the charcoal, are going from 149 to 159, and just a few more little things. Uh, so it's just a $10 increase in Australian dollars in USD. It's about, I think they said $4 or something like that. So um, even less, I think it's three, three and a half, something like that. And then the tassels, the crystal tassels, are going to go from 49 to 59, and the pendants need to go from 39 to 49. Now, these prices were set almost four years ago, three and a half, four years ago, and I haven't had a price increase, increase since, and so prices have increased on me, and I've absorbed a lot of the costs, so now I have to steady out the uh, the playing field because my mentors have told me that's not the way you run a successful business. So uh, I'm doing that now and that's all that there is. I'm sure that'll be it for the next few years, four years probably, and we'll take it again from there. But in the meantime, I'm actually telling you this now because this isn't happening until Monday, this coming Monday. So if you wanted to take advantage of the original prices, you're more than welcome to. Nothing will change until this coming Monday uh, evening, uh, Australian Easter, uh, sorry, Sunday evening, uh, midnight, and then the next day, Monday, we'll get started on the new prices. So back to Florence, which is a much nicer topic to talk about. Loved Florence, it was beautiful. What you're going to see in the video to follow is the first slide you'll see is meat, 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 meat. Flora is, Florence is famous for their steak and they call it bistecca. It's a great big thick T-bone, like it's enormous. And I've been to a couple of restaurants in, um, in Sydney where they do it Florentine style. And it is just amazing, just yeah, bad luck if you're a vegetarian. Do not go to Florence if you're a vegetarian. So that was beautiful. So you see, that you get to see all the raw meats and going in there and sitting down in this particular place, it felt like you were like at Henry VIII or the Last Supper or something. It felt very dungeony. It was very, very cool. So the yellow gold uh, influence in jewelry was very, very strong, um, as, the, as well as the other parts of Italy, but I really noticed it and uh, it really stood out. Leather, leather is huge in Italy, whether you're walking through the markets, the shops, and what they often do is they'll have one type of bag or wallet or belt or carry bag and they'll have it in seven or eight different colors. So I got this gorgeous bag for my daughter. She um, she loves her little bags that sit upright like that. So, and this is a really soft pink, which she loved. So that's from Florence. And uh, lucky, isn't it hard to get gifts from overseas? It's so hard. And what I also got her was this gorgeous scarf. So it's double sided. Scarves were huge. Again, in Florence, just beautiful. And of course they come in seven or eight different colors. So I got myself this one. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the combo of silver and gold. It just goes to show you, um, it's not what it used to be in the rules and the restrictions. And I love, I'm wearing the oyster colored Capri, and I love that I can have this with a silver influence or a gold influence, and they all go, so I just love it. Now, um, yeah, leather was huge, it was amazing. So then I had a gelato. We didn't have too many gelatos. We were going for mostly pasta. We were driven mad by pasta in Italy. Uh, I had a ricotta gelato. Blew my mind, beautiful. Probably had too much to start with, but it was lovely. The markets were brilliant. Like that was from a market and so were the scarves. Absolutely beautiful. Being a city, I did find a lot of their shopping a little bit expensive, but I'm, I'm happy to walk through markets, love a good market. 
Handmade paper, bookstores are huge. That's what comes up next in the video. Lots and lots and lots of handmade paper um, and, and it's just gorgeous, handmade bound books. The artist um, influence in, in uh, Italy, especially Florence, is amazing. Like artists drawing and designing. Uh, the columns and the arches were a major influence. As you walk through the piazzas, you see artists just sitting there sketching away, happy to do a sketch of you or a caricature of you. And it just suits the, uh, the ambience and the atmosphere. It was beautiful. Uh, in that uh, video, I also show you a museum. It's incredible. The, you'll see the real strong influence of yellow gold in the walls and the ceilings. It's gorgeous. I tried to give you a fair bit of that because that was mind-blowing. To think that was once a place of residence by royalty is just insane. So it was just beautiful. And then we go over the jewelry for the Ponca, Pon, Ponte Vecchio Bridge. That was amazing. Um, I did a live on that while I was there. It's actually a bridge lined with jewelry stores. It's just incredible. And at night, they, they, they fold out timber shutters that are all hinged together, lock it up, and that's it. So at night, it's like one long timber shutter lined bridge, bridge with a break in the middle so you can see the actual Ponte Vecchio Lake. And then um, through the day, it's just jewelry shop after jewelry shop after jewelry shop and uh, loved that, that was fun. I didn't buy much actually, I just bought these gorgeous little studs. I really wanted some beautiful quality um, little studs, not diamonds, no, I don't wear diamonds anymore, darling. And um, the coins were a major influence in the jewelry. Cameos are a major influence. Saw so cameos quite a bit all over Italy, which is really surprising to me. I suppose not, it is an old world kind of thing, but yeah, very popular. Uh, and, the, and the meal you see is fried bread. And what I mean by that is the dough, before it's cooked at all, dropped in hot oil, brought to us hot, and you just it just is cooked to perfection. And we're having ricotta and salami and pastrami and gorgeous. And that was followed by the most stunning, because it was raining outside, what are we gonna do? Go inside, eat again and have a glass of or two of something. So we had a truffle mushroom pasta. Bellissimo. So I hope you enjoy Florence, everyone. large I would say so here's what the um, um, the shops do by night not a thing here 